Did you know, for example, 25% of men think their eyes are their best feature? Let me think. Buns, guns, pecs, nads, little Jimmy Johnson, eyes. Sixth best. Sixth. <laughs> the world's oldest goldfish was 42. He put his long life down to regular early morning swims. <laughs> And the average life expectancy in the UK is 80 years. Does not include Scotland. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. Tonight, it's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top three most important moments in life. Sean Seam, what do you think's up there? Uh, what, what do you think? Is it falling in love? Well, yeah. Go on, when did you first fall in love? Uh, maybe 21. You see, I thought there was the one, because I'd read too many, you know, that kind of books and seen that, that kind of film where there's just one and that's it and it's rubbish. If you're, you know, watching at home and people in the audience, there's five. There's not one. I've it's seen one a lot of those every... films and read a lot of those books. <laughs> one for every decade. Yeah, one for... So I've done my 20s, I've got a nice one in my 30s. And then he'll have to go soon, cos I'm 36. <laughs> it's lovely, it's a shame. Um... <laughs> uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, and then after that you just have, like, no strings attached sex with whoever's in the same home. <laughs> You're such a romantic, aren't you? <laughs> I am. And Lorraine, when did you first fall in love? Oh, probably about 16. 16? Yeah, oh. Brian Kennedy. I can't tell you any more than that, but it was lovely. It was Why can't you tell good. us any more? Because. Because. Is he dead? I don't want him back. No, he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I think first love is really important, and you can really not underestimate it because yeah. it's it's really exciting and because it's all new and <laughs> you've never been there before. And I cannot. It's fabulous. Wait. Are you remembering it all? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you never really talk about your softer side and being in love. Mm. And I think I speak on behalf of everyone. I'd like to just, I'd like to see a bit of the real you. Yes. yes. When did you fall in love, Sean? Well, I always find that the confusing thing about falling in love is the symptoms of falling in love, a sort of lightheadedness, giddiness, are very similar to the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm in love or the flu's blocked. <laughs> So I can't, I don't know if you're the one, or we need to change flats. We need to have a way John, have you ever been in love? The first two people I fell in love with... Two? Hedge <laughs> <laughs> your bets. Different occasions, both ended with their partners telling me to stop phoning their home. <laughs> the first one was a clown, uh, who I fell in love with when I was about eight. He opened a shopping centre near me, and I was transfixed. This guy could juggle, he could do magic, he had poems. <laughs> how old was the clown and how old were you? Clown must have been in his late 20s, early 30s. <laughs> I'm maybe nine or ten. <laughs> I asked for a picture. <laughs> He's given me his card. It's only got his phone number on it. <laughs> he obviously wants me to call. <laughs> I left a few messages. Uh, <laughs> and one day when I phoned up, his wife picked up that. It sounds like an implausible story that the clown told the police. Like, no, he was calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of you phoning out and going, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I got the big shoes on. <laughs> it wasn't a sexual thing, it was just the love between a child and a clown. <laughs> when did you first fall in love with a woman? Uh, in Torquay, on holiday. <laughs> Took her to see Men in Black. Uh, rained on the way out, give my coat, did the whole thing. Little pity kiss at the end of the week, which, I'll be honest, I may have misread. <laughs> Started phoning. Uh, <laughs> he's not picking up the phone either, little minx. So what I did, <laughs> bought one of those school exercise books, and across every line of every page, I wrote, I love, and then her name. Uh, if I made a mistake, tore the page out, and then I uh, posted it to her. That's not creepy, glad that's not creepy. <laughs> Symbol of commitment and grammatical accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look and see whether first love is one of the most important moments in life. Thanks for watching. You know what would be great is if you liked and subscribed. I'm so needy. I'm so sorry. Uh, and why not come and see me live? And uh, the tickets are available at sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.